Alright man, what's the word man? It's your boy Mr. Sitchi. So I'm finna go hoop in an hour and a half. Well, an hour and like 45 minutes. I gotta go pick this nigga J up. Little short fuck. But before I do that, you know what I'm saying? I want to record a little vlog. So I just got some shit to talk about. So y'all see 50 Cent pretty much ain't with styles no more. You feel me? So if you peep and you go look and say 50 Cent has uh, basically heat. They ain't make it seem like he left. They basically saying like he got kicked off that motherfucker. We all know if anything, 50 Cent left they shit. Fuck is you talking about? They didn't leave 50, 50 left them. 50 is bringing y'all and making y'all more money than y'all are making him. Y'all, numbers, charts, and everything. It's just like how Nike has been filling with Foot Locker and everything. Where it's like, we bringing y'all all y'all money, nigga. Nah, fuck that. We just finna instantly say, fuck all these other stores. And we just finna do our own Nike shit for sure now. Like, we bringing y'all in all this money plus trying to run our own stores. Nah, I think we should just instantly... Keep expanding on our own stores and keep building like that now that we really billions and billions up. You feel me? 50 is millions and millions and millions and millions up. You don't think that man can... What? Come on now, bro. That man is capable of too much shit. Too much, bro. The man made a made a, a whole series in a, in a saga of a book. Like, the only other thing I know to do that was Twilight. Do some saga shit. You know, it's a few things I do. Sagas, all that vampire and wolf shit. You know, that shit corny, though. He the only person who made like some reality type shit, a saga, like a book saga and shit like that. Come on now, bro. He the first person to do that and successfully actually like get away with the storyline and everything. You feel me? He giving us what we really want to see because TV is corny as hell nowadays. I'm saying to draw my, uh, I'm drawing up a logo and shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Finna start just doing that shit again like I was doing. I had this cold ass logo I had drew like uh, in June. My dumb ass fucking, uh, boss. I know his bitch ass literally sat there and fucking crumbled my shit up and threw it away on some hating shit. Cause I was sitting there literally doodling a fucking whole logo and I don't even remember how it was, but it was some cold shit. I kind of do remember. So I'm gonna try to redo it though, but right now I'm finna do this. Cause my clothing brand is really king shit. So everything, you more shit you wanna start seeing has to do with like Ethiopia and Africa and my stuff. You know, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like you wanna see a lot of like African, tie-ins and stuff like that and symbols and stuff added and being incorporated into my shit now i ain't gonna lie so i'm working on that more so you feel me but yeah back to this 50 cent shit i'm like you know what i'm saying 50 cent don't need them they need 50. 50 literally been talking about leaving these people multiple times this ain't the first time they done literally pissed 50 off and he basically told them he finna pack his shit and dip they be having him fucked up and be trying to play with his top bro I ain't trying to say it like that, but this is what white people do to us. For real, bro. I gotta say white because that's the main people who be running everything, white folk. But this is what y'all do to us. Y'all really try to limit our success and it fucking sucks. Or y'all try to allow it to come how y'all want it to come. So y'all try to basically allow it to where... Let me make sure. I gotta wipe my lens off, bro. Hold on. I've been wondering why I've been doing that shit, on um, bro. Yeah, there it go. Lens was just literally dirty as hell. I didn't know that shit. <laughs> on me, I did not know my shit was dirty like that. All right, there we go. Really, actually, focus, focus. So yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying. But I'm like, they be sitting there, literally trying to limit and play with our uh. Our successfulness, bro, and trying to limit our shit or try to have full fledged control over how successful we become. It's like, how, bro? You know what I'm saying? How? Like, I don't get that. Like, it don't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, like, we be working just as hard. If not, actually, we work harder. We work harder than a lot of people. We have to. We ain't got no fucking choice. We got to do a lot of shit. We got to jump over a lot of unnecessary barriers, obstacles, all of that, bro, just to make it to where a white person can get to it within just a, a handshake and a smile. But y'all can obtain with just a handshake and a smile. We got to literally obtain. We got to literally work for it. Like, it's not even funny, bro. Shit's actually whack as fuck. It's very, very trash. For real, for real. But you know, I ain't even gonna trip though. But like, 
Back to the whole thing with 50, man. Like, yeah, bro, they been playing with 50 top, trying to play with him. Like, he ain't the money maker in there, bro. He the one bringing in all the money through the box, uh, what's that say? Box office or whatever fucking shit. Cool, oh, he's bringing in all that revenue, bro. Y'all ain't doing shit. Stars don't even, I don't, I can't even tell y'all what's on stars besides power, bro. For real, for real. Because, one, I don't have a stars account at all. To begin with, I don't even, I ain't gonna lie, but you feel me? I know people with stars accounts and stuff, and we instantly watch the shit on their channels when we watch it, but I mean, on they, yeah, you know, on they little whoops or whatever when we watch it, but other than that, bro, I don't even really care to watch that shit, but I'm just letting it be known, bro. I do watch it when I watch it, and that shit really, you can tell, bro, that all the views is coming from this shit, all the numbers is coming from it, all the statistics, all the everything, all the revenue is all basically coming from power. Any story that 50 Cent dropped, that's all that's being watched on stars. No one cares about the other stuff. Now, other folk, you feel me? I ain't trying to say it like that, but white people, they probably watch all that other shit. We don't give a fuck about it. Because half the stuff on TV does not pertain to us. It pertains to that audience. It don't pertain to us. So 50 Cent got this collaboration of shows that he put together that all combined into one situation that he's running con uh, concurrently after each other, one another, you feel me? And y'all trying to step in and step on this man's toes? I don't even watch TV, so I can't bring up nothing that's on TV where I'd be like, but y'all letting this air and this air with no situation like, I don't even watch TV at all, so I can't even sit there and defend that how I would really want to. But just know y'all got my boy fucked up, and I understand why he literally said fuck y'all, because y'all literally got him fucked up. If you want to be technical, y'all got bro fucked up. And 50 is going to take his talents elsewhere. And guess who lost it is? Stars. I said, because look, bro, how y'all going? This is like, okay, this is like, the same thing with uh, Atlantic Records doing this shit with Young Boy. Like, y'all can't sit here and blackball y'all best fucking artists, bro. Like, it doesn't make sense because then y'all gonna lose them. Then what you gonna have? That artist, then after they start realizing you literally are the reason why their success is distorted. Like, even though they're still successful, y'all are limiting it. Y'all are cutting it short. Y'all kind of step in there and prevent it from being what it really could be. Motherfuckers start saying, ah, yeah, all right. I'll make a deal with you like this because I don't fuck with y'all. Yeah, y'all might have just got me started, but fuck y'all. I'm broke grave. I ain't going to lie. Look, I do this. I give y'all this, that, and the third. I let y'all have all that shit. After that, I'm not fucking with y'all no more. I don't want to fuck with y'all no more. At all. So... I'm going to give y'all this three, four projects. Y'all can have them. All the money for them. All of them. Because I don't even need them. I make money off of YouTube. I'm speaking like as if I'm young boy down there, pretty much. I don't need that. Y'all can have all that shit. Why? I'm going to get paid off the YouTube shit. Even if I put this this tape on YouTube, this time the third, y'all not entitled to this money. Y'all entitled to where I put it on them other platforms and they get them streams. Apple Music and shit like that, Spotify and all of that. I don't get no fuck about none of that shit. I'm a YouTube rapper. That's why y'all losing. That's why y'all lose. I'm a YouTube rapper. Y'all trying to literally... industry. Y'all trying to make me an industry rapper, but at the same time, no, I can't be an industry rapper. I limited myself. You feel me? That's, another, that's just another example of motherfuckers trying to limit our success. As black people, bro, it's weak as fuck. It's lame. It's super lame, bro. I'm gonna lie to you. Like I said, I'm coming up with this code as I'm making this code as logo and shit like that, man. Uh, Cause I ain't gonna. I felt like I've been slacking on my clothes. That was enough for really. I ain't really had too much to say about the 50 Cent situation. It wasn't. It ain't really shit to say. We gonna still see power. We still gonna see. The book of timing, we still gonna see ghosts, we still gonna see all that shit, bro. Literally, you still gonna see Kane and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, we gonna see a lot of shit, bro. So, ain't no reason to really overly discuss that, you know? But, like, anyways, 
Let's talk about my clothing business. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm fancy sitting over here, boy. Like I said, I'm drawing the logo. I ain't really trying to show y'all. You feel me? Y'all gonna see it when y'all see it because I'm gonna start sketch it up and finish doing what I'm doing and, you know, and then send it to my people. I had them digitize it for me. I'm finna actually sit here after I get back from hooping. And that's what I'm finna do. I'm finna sit and draw me a few logos. You know, Kizzy. Sit and draw me a few of them. This one gonna be hard. I don't even know what made me just actually come up with this one. I was doing something else. I was started out doing something else. But that's how my creative creativity works. Start out doing something else, and then I'm like, oh yeah, let me let me try this. Okay, boom, yep, and then flip that and put that just like that. Yeah, that shit gonna be cold, bro. But yeah, I feel like I've been kind of slacking. I ain't really been slacking. I just took a real break on my clothes, bro. But it's not me to not be making FGN clothes, bro. Like, it ain't even been feeling right, gang. It's been feeling off and shit. Wearing the same fucking FGN shit now for, you feel me? The last, what, the last FGN item I made for myself was in, I think, October. Yeah, October. I ain't made nothing for myself since October. I ain't made nothing FGN for real since October. Yeah, I don't think since October. I had went, made a couple more orders. I had did a couple pop-up shots right before that and stuff like that. And then I just ended up sending on, sitting on so much different shit, bro. I was like, I'm just going to pause and chill on the clothes. So, like, everything from now on, I'm going to pretty much do it like a pre-order or like a, a basically that's what I'm going to call it, pre-order. So, I started doing it. You have to order with me. Up front, so like, yes, I have the website. The website is fgnapparel.com. Literally, I was gonna make it the whole fly ghetto niggas LLC, but that shit is long. I wanted it something you could just quickly type, and get to the site, you know what I'm saying? If you, you know, so you ain't sitting there having no spelling issues, no nothing. You just FGN apparel. You just gotta know how to remember FGN as the abbreviation, like how in order the order the letters go in, and then how to spell apparel, all one word. On me, what Jarek sent me. I think he sent me the promo. Oh yeah, y'all don't even know. I shot my own music video, and Jarek edited it. On my life. Man, go for it, bro. Oh, damn. That's the promo. Oh, hood, nigga. More, let me say that. What's today? March 3rd. Tomorrow, Friday, you're gonna drop it. Tomorrow, I like, I like four. Drop it tomorrow, I like four. Oh um, God! So look, I got music video finna drop tomorrow, nigga. Well, ain't no problem. I'm gonna drop it tomorrow. It's been a minute since I dropped, so. And I don't like sitting on shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't really care. That's one thing about me, neither. I don't really care about how I drop. I feel like you don't have to do. You shouldn't do no set, no set way of how you actually make your music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just really feel like you should go with your intuition. So, if you make a song and you kind of want to get it out there, you get it out there. Y'all see what Rio and them do? Rio drop however he want, bro. Rio really be dropping however he want. Rio really drops. Can drop a song and then drop another song 10 minutes later. That's how he do it. He like, shit, I don't care. I just made this song, got mixed. All right, come on, drop that shit. Like, damn, you ain't even promo it. Yeah, I ain't even really got a promo. I'm going to promo it with the drop. Just drop it. So then when you drop it, I'm going to use the drop. I'm going to be planning. I'm already be building up the views and shit like that. So as soon as you go ahead and do that, boom. So just send me the link. And I'm going to sit there and I'm going to promo it off the link. Just for right now until you feel me. We throw that on Apple Music, whatever we going to do, how we going to do it. Because now we're going to figure out if we finna single it or make it a part of a mixtape or a project, you know. So for right now, shit, we just going to throw the song out there. Boom. Then that's why you will notice, like, you will hear some shit from Rio. 
then you gonna go back and hear some newer shit and it's the same, it might be the same exact beat you just was listening to, but it's a whole different song, whole different verse on it, whole different concept. He got a feature on it now, stuff like that. Um, bro, y'all got an instant peak. Like, there's really no set standard, set way to drop. And why and Jake drops how he really wants to drop. And then, plus, on top of that, I find I have to go buy some more of these. I don't even like Oreos, but I feel, I, I feel like depending on the packaging you get, all different shit, it tastes different from water, juice, food. Like, when they come in here, they taste like real Oreos. When you get the Oreos in a Sam's Club box or the normal box of Oreos, I feel like they don't taste the same. But like for real, bro. I'm on my machine. Music video is welcome tomorrow, 4 o'clock. Pay the price. Stay tuned. But that's how real them operate. Not all, not, not like 100%, but they drop how they want, 100%, for sure. And that's what I'm doing. If I literally see him record this song right now, bro, and I like it a lot, I'm going to drop it. I'm not going to promote it and all of that shit and try to get somebody to convince me, like, oh, yeah. Or wait for enough people to tell me, oh, yeah. Bro, that shit hard. Drop it. Fuck no. Because then I'm waiting for clear validation. I don't need validation to do what, I, what my heart wants to do. It makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? Don't need no validation. So, I'm going to drop and do whatever I want, how I want to do it. All right, this going to be kind of hard. I ain't never made a backwards end. All right, it should be the same. Like how I kind of did this one. Kind of go up here. Let me find out. Well, I used to suck at uh, I used to suck at sketching bubble layers. I still ain't like all that or nothing, but like, but I'm telling you, I used to couldn't even. I couldn't even sketch a bubble letter for real. Like, nigga, I, only the only bubble letters I knew how to do for real was B's, O's, I's, and E's. I mess up on C's, my C's be coming out uneven as hell. S's be coming out uneven as hell. Like you see this, y'all can't even see the S. Let's see the S. Like yeah, bro. S decent, but you know I could do better. And right now I'm making the other portion of the uh of this logo. This bitch gonna be cold. Especially when I uh finish it and then get it uh fucking actually digitized. So y'all can actually see. I wonder if I should do it like this, and then do it like this, and then do it like that. Nope, that looked like a, <laughs> that kind of looked like an H. So let me just do how I did it the last time. I, mean, I appreciate everybody who been tuned into the channel and shit too, man. I ain't gonna lie. I just be on this mother chilling, being me. Free as fuck. Free as the fuck. Okay, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I ain't got the curve coming from down, from up here. That's the problem. I'm like, bruh, what the fuck? Uh, okay, there we go. That's way better. This logo gonna be raw as hell. We at the 19 minute mark, man. We got 10 more minutes. I probably ain't gonna use the whole 30, no cap, because it really I ain't doing shit. I'm just drawing this logo, eating some Oreos. Finna go pick this nigga up. I, like I said, in about an hour and 10 minutes, I'm finna roll me up some tree and shit. Uh, hold on, is there anything else I want to actually talk to y'all about while I'm saying that and talking shit, actually? Is there anything? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, so like, I wanna vent to y'all real quick, just real fast, you know what I'm saying? So like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, lately, I've been in my feelings, bro. Like, for real, for real, I'm gonna be real 100. I don't drink alcohol. But look at this bottle. This all me by myself in the last two, three, in the last three days. From uphill, nigga. I know the bottle come like uphill. 
at the neck. It don't come down here. It come up here. You feel me? It come like up here, nigga. I'm, boy, I'm manipulating this motherfucker. You feel me? I ain't gonna drink now because I'm finna go hoop and shit today. Like I said in a little bit, but like, bro, I've been in my feelings, bro. I've been drinking that to the point I ain't been getting drunk. I've been smoking my ass off. I just been like, fuck. You know? Pretty much like a whole bunch of BS. I just been trying to really sit here and chill, bro. I really started this vlogging. Also, to help me not be in my thoughts so much, bro. Even though it helped, it makes me kind of be in my thoughts just as much. Not really, like. I get on here and get distracted and be talking to y'all and get lost in what I be saying. When I ain't got the camera on, bro, I promise to God, I focus on a topic so good because I know the camera ain't on, so I can really express and say shit that, you know, I don't want to say on camera and shit like that. Like, it's just a lot of different shit I know, you know, that I could do and I can't really do when I got this record button on. So, when I do get on here type shit, I kind of just give y'all, like, a good-ass portion of me, you know, a cool version of me. It's, I'm a cool-ass nigga in general, but, like, I just give y'all one portion of me, which is just a Mr. Sitchy, you feel me? That's who you get, you get Mr. Sitchy, but Savo, S-A-V double O, them two other different people. Breon, that's another person too. I got four fucking alter egos. Mr. Sitchy is the guy y'all talking to right now. It's the cool ass fucking podcast, vlog doing ass, intelligent ass entrepreneur dude that's YouTube and this shit. SAV Double O and Sabo, that's the, that's like, the, that's the confident music rap, that's the music making, rapping ass, flea ass, asshole, I ain't gonna lie, that's where my asshole come in, Brianna's is just me all together, that's the original me, that's just, at the end of the day when you, if I'm doing some shit that reminds you of when I was way younger, that's Brian. I can't really tell you when Brian come out, cause Brian is, I'm Brian at all times, you just, you feel me, duh, like, that's originally who I am, but I'm really Sabo slash SAV double at all times, and I become Mr. Sitchy when I turn this camera on, you know, cap for the vlogs and shit. I'm SAV double and Sabo all day, every day throughout life, rather the camera on or not, though. I'm Mr. Sitchy too, rather the camera on or not, too, though. I'm gonna get you Sitchy on some information, tell you some shit, teach you some stuff, stuff like that, so I'm also Mr. Sitchy without the damn camera being on, too. You know what I'm saying? That's really why I call myself Mr. Sitchy. Like, I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, I help people get situated. You feel me? And I don't wanna say situated, but that's really where the word comes from, situated. Help you get sitchy, I'm my mama. Yeah, I wanna make the situation. Fuck it. So this the situation. You feel me? The podcast, that's really what the fuck my shit is really called. It's really called the situation. But y'all gonna think it's really like that. It's not really like that. That's just how I'm saying it. I'm gonna really show y'all once I Y'all see it written down. I'm going to actually drop a logo for that, too. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. I'm going to drop a logo for that, too. Since I'm chilling and shit like that, I ain't really rushing to do nothing. So, I'm going to make a logo for that as well. And, yeah, we're going to go crazy, bro. Sketch it, man. I said, bro, I suck at drawing. But I could learn easy as hell. So, I brought it to the second. I brought it out here. But it ain't shit though. I can, all, I can most definitely get cold at this shit. My brother Daryl, he taught himself how to draw it in prison. That's when he learned. The last time he just went to prison, that's when he started drawing. My other brother, my other brother Anton, his ass is the drawer. He draws. That's what he do. Well, he don't draw no more, but he draws. That's what he know. Like he's cold at drawing. Just imagine though. Like that's why I say I wish my brother. Not even to say it like that, but like. I wish my brother was more kind of like intertwined than what I got going on, which they gonna get that. But like, I'm talking about one of my other, one of my brothers, not both of them. You know, like I kind of need him to wake up. You know, get the fuck out the shell he in, man. Get out the damn drought that he in. Damn, I'm so tempted to take a shot, bro. It's so terrible. I done went and hooped drunk multiple times. But like I told, you, I've been in my feelings. The only Time I even care about taking a shot is when I'm in my feelings, bro. I cried like a motherfucker last night, bro. Like, for the first time in a long time, I cried, cried. Like, I cried to the point, bro, I didn't know I was going to cry. And then when I started crying, I was crying so hard, bro, I couldn't stop crying. Even when I was talking, every time I said a word or just, I'm, it's all just heavier and heavier crying, bro. I'm like, whoa. Like, holy fuck. 
I never cried like this a day in my actual life. Like, especially since being a daughter, I say like, I probably cried like this when I was a kid, you know? Like, yeah, I ain't gonna say in my life, but I'm saying in my adult life, like, I ain't never cried like that. So, that shit is just crazy, bro. I just been having a lot on my plate. Your boy been tired, exhausted, man. I've been smoking hella weed, but not really. Like, only reason I'm finna smoke some right now is because, you know, I ain't even finna use no tree. I'm finna roll like a like, decent uh, tapper, you know, and tap that bitch. And yeah, that's really it, bro. I just been having to keep myself sane. I ain't close to using, losing my sanity or nothing, bro. That's why I've been having to write a lot of raps, all types of stuff, bro. I've been having to really keep up with making the vlogs, keep talking to y'all, stuff like that. It helps me really stay calm, cool, collect, and cordial. Then my three, four C's, whatever. I, calm, cool, collect, cordial. It's my four C's, bro. No matter how I put them, cool, calm, collect, cordial. Cordial is going to come last, but cool, calm, collect, cordial. Whatever the fuck, it don't matter, bro. Them is my four C's. That's how I literally live my life. That's what my motto is, you feel me? Staying cool, calm, collect, and cordial through everything. And I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all should adapt that. Them four, them four C's, cool, calm, collect, cordial. You will see a longer life, I swear to God. Way longer life, you will prosper more. You will see a lot of more positive shit, uh, more progress. All of that, man. I'm telling you, bro. Live your life by that. More people need to really start tuning into this channel too Because a lot of people be reaching out to me Writing me on Facebook and shit like that Like man Brian I really want your insights and your help I want you to mentor low key Like be my motivational like help And I'm like I got you the whole time Another thing that'll help you Press that subscribe button on this channel No cap it's right there It's really right there Because I'm going to talk about a lot I'm going to address a lot And then all they take is for a person to even write me And text me DM me like Hey bro can you make a vlog about this And kind of address some stuff like this and like kind of give advice on it like how you will help a person who's going through some stuff like this or some stuff like that yes yes i will like so start dming me start writing me that shit bro start giving me more criteria start giving me situations issues real life shit to talk about explain break down you know help solve and you know like all that shit bro like come on man that's what mr city is about bro i'm here to help y'all get city while i'm getting city you know what i'm saying y'all helping me and i'm helping y'all so we helping each other the whole time it's just one cycle of help you know so yeah though, i'm about to get back to this i might take a shot even though i said i wasn't finna roll up some doty you feel me i appreciate y'all for listening to me as well i love y'all you know what i'm saying press that subscribe button of course it's your boy mr city i'm gonna get up with y'all last no kissing don't get no fuck about shit, hella crying and shit I promise you the grieving don't work Every day I seen was a lie, what it really feel like Cause they were really tired of taking L's I lost another brother, but this time my real big brother I don't even know just how to feel Lost for the words, constipated, I can barely shit turds Stomach really cringing in this bitch